Today on Live It Up, we're going to be talking about mortgages. And with us now is Seth Feynman, and he's with Silverfin Capital. Welcome to the show. Good to see you again, Donna. How's everything? Th things are going really very well with us. So we met networking. Yes. Uh, lots of fun. Yes. Uh, and I said, wow, you seem to know a lot about what you do, and you're very passionate about it. Very much. Uh, so talking about mortgages, mm -hmm. do you have any advice today for first-time buyers? Absolutely. Being okay. a first-time home buyer is extremely overwhelming, um, and you want to try to simplify the process. You want to do your research. You want to go on Google, go on Lending Tree, do some due diligence about the person that you're about to speak to before you even speak to them. Know a little bit about them before you get on that initial call. And then once you've done your research and you've made that connection, you ultimately have to trust that person. For many of us, this is going to be the biggest financial decision of your life. And while you might do a ton of research to pick your CPA or to pick your attorney, not enough people are doing the same research to pick their mortgage professional. And it could be make or break whether you get that initial property and how smooth the process goes. And talking about smooth, one of the things silver stands for, as I always remember, silver and simplify. Yeah. Right? Because it's part of your like motto. Yes, it is part of our motto. Our goal is to alleviate the stress and the paperwork and the documentation and the unknown world of mortgages of what it really is and take that over for you. So we act as the quarterback. My job is to take in your whole life, take in the whole picture, find out what your goals are and deliver to you while doing so without you having to speak to anybody else. If I could be the person that you go to, you call in the morning, at night and during the day and you don't have to worry about anybody else and accomplish your goals, it'll make your life a lot easier, let you do your job. You go do whatever you do during the day, you shouldn't be working to try to close your mortgage, you should be working for your job. You started out there very young, yes. and now you're vice president yes. of Silverfin Capital. Um, do you remember the very first time you were able to tell somebody they got approved and what that was like for you? I do. I was 22 years old, and this was their first time purchase. And, you know, it was, I didn't know what I was doing. They didn't know what they were doing. And I remember they gave me a call. I didn't go to the closing. It was actually, I believe, in Jersey. And they gave me a call, and they were crying on the phone. And, you know, then is when I realized that, you know, while I'm, I'm not a doctor necessarily, but I could be changing <laughs> someone's life forever by helping them get into that home or helping them maybe pull out cash and a refinance to pay for their kid's college or to do renovations on their house that they've been dying to do and, and they ha just haven't been able to or they didn't know how. So, yeah, it's, it's very fulfilling. And now a lot of lives have changed because of yes. how you've been helping everybody. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen families, you know, be created in the homes that I help them get into. Um, I have clients that have come back to me three, four, five times over to just be there for them for all their different real estate needs. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely my goal is to build a client for life, for sure. Yeah, and we talked about that too. We talked about um, people should be doing that with their mortgages. Like people have a doctor for their life, right? And you were talking to us about that too. Yeah, I find it interesting that most people that you speak to that have had more than one mortgage in their life, whether it's multiple refinances, multiple purchases, don't always go back to that same person that helped them the first time. And the reason could be maybe that person's not in the business anymore. Maybe that person wasn't so good at what they did. Um, maybe that person just, they haven't kept in touch with them. I want to be the person that's there for life for you. So whether it's your investment property when it's time to retire, or whether it's a house for your kids, or whether you just need to, you need some serious rework in your financial life and you need to save some money. Um, I want to know that you can call me. We haven't spoken in 10 years, and I'm going to pick up the phone, and we're going to have the same conversation we did 10 years ago. And people are wondering about refinancing. Mm -hmm. um, what's your thoughts on that right now? I know. It, um, it seems that the time is coming gone. I didn't mean to put you on the gone. spot, but I'm yeah. like, yeah, I want to know. No, that's great. Okay. It's, it's, a lot of people think that time is coming gone because rates are rising. Rates are still extremely low. You know, it wasn't so long ago that rates were 15, 16, 17 percent. Um, it's a different need now for refinance. Maybe now you're not going to be lowering your rate 2 or 3 percent like you were in 2007, 2008, 2009. But now maybe you have the ability to pull out some cash. Maybe your home is worth a little more. Um, maybe now you're making more money. Our economy is doing a little bit better. Maybe now you can afford or a 15-year or th instead of a 30-year term. So there's still a lot of reasons to refinance. It's just not the same reasons that existed. But um, people shouldn't be hesitant. People who were denied in the past need to revisit the opportunity. Okay. Um, and one of the things I was going to ask you, too, and, and I wrote my note on the card because I didn't want to forget this. How do you know what is the best mortgage for you? It's a good question. As an individual, you probably don't know, especially if it's your first time. What I always ask someone who's buying a house how long do you plan to be there? If, you tell, if someone tells me that, well, I'm going to graduate school in Manhattan and I'm gonna be moving in five years for sure, that helps me get an idea of what type of product, maybe how long of a term that suits them. Not every product, not every mortgage is the same for everybody. Um, maybe your income fluctuates a lot during the year. Maybe you need a product that allows that flexibility where your payment's not as high as it is on a different product. 
that's where the research and that's where the trust comes into play. I need my clients to trust me that we're on the same page, my job is to help you, and as long as we have that trust, we'll figure out the right product. You're like a concierge. Kind Full of. service. <laughs> First service <laughs> consulting. We do it all, yes. Excellent. Thank you for joining us. Thanks staff. for having me. Please stay tuned for more on Live It Up. If you're looking for a mortgage, check them out. Silverfin Capital. Thanks for watching.